You're welcome. Hey. It's What's Up and About for Wake Up Nigeria. Let's yeah. get to it already. We already mm -hmm. told you what it was that we were going to be talking about, and this has to do with parenting or mm -hmm. school responsibilities and all of that. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people already know what's been happening with the uh, buzz on social media regarding the, uh, is it 10 or 13 year old uh, pupils of uh, Chrisland um, School in Lekki that were uh, seen in some very untoward act. Um, and this has got people talking. But I have certain reservations that I want to make clear here. Mm. And I'm sure that you guys also have something that you want to say. The school came out to tell about the measures that they put in place during this trip. However, in conversations I had this morning with colleagues, I said that they could have gone much further than that. Sure. I mean, having uh, students, children, is a very slippery business. Yeah. You can't tell that you're having checks up until midnight and then after that you're done with the checks and everybody goes to bed. What I further went on to say was perhaps maybe they should have had chauffeurs, not ch just chauffeurs, chaperones, monitors, chaperones, chaperones yeah. inside of the rooms that these kids were at. Mm. If you had male chaperones in, in, in the rooms, you, you have the, the boys and then female chaperones mm. with the girls, mm. I think that would have solved the problem. Mm. Apart from that, children will be children. These things actually have always been happening. Mm. This was just documented. Mm. That, I, I have more to say, but I'm just going to let you guys go on, you, on, on, on yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, so there, it does, there's um, it's a touchy area mm -hmm. um, having chaperones be in the rooms with the children because um, the truth is I don't I don't see why um, it's not even more worrisome mm -hmm. having an adult with young boys mm. in a room. It's not about that. It's just the culture and um, and structure and parenting styles mm. and, uh, uh, and um, moral upbringing of everyone involved. Mm -hmm. um, a child that is going to be bad is going to be bad, whether there's a chaperone there or not, right? It's just that it wouldn't have been documented. It probably wouldn't have gone on camera if the chaperone was there, mm. right? I don't know, Mike, do you, do you agree with mm. that? You get my what point? What do you think, Mike? I These things what? have been happening, as you said, uh... So but my, it was my, yeah, but yeah, my point is, look, it is. Uh, I'd rather have a chaperone or a teacher or somebody yeah. there with them in their rooms, and then you, I, I would not, I would, I wouldn't want them to be few in a room. So maybe hostel-based style where you have Dormitory a housemaster. Yeah. that's okay. how we did in Borden House. You have a housemaster, yeah, and then you who have, goes around. You understand? You have like twenty students in one yeah. room, yeah. so that even if the housemaster cannot travel because they are, they are, they are, they are quite a crowd, a large group, group. Mm -hmm. so yeah. you you don't want them in tiny rooms where they are two or three. Then yeah. it's going to be harder yeah. to, to check monitor. on them, to yeah. monitor them. Mm. You see, but then I want to say something, you see. This that has happened, and uh, it, is, is it a failure of parenting? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Now, that's the thing. Yes or no? I, 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 it, I, I, I do think that it's, a fail, it's an instance of failed parenting. Yes mm. or no? Why do you think so? Well, first off, the morals of these kids. No, mm. not the kids. Maybe it might have been just one kid or two kids. All you need is influence from one kid and everybody. It's like one bad apple spoils a lot in this case, if you ask me when well, it comes you have to a children. Point there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it goes to, to, to show what this kid, or maybe there's, there's more than one of them, has been exposed, exposed to. to yeah. Now, let's also play on the innocence of this kid. You might have been exposed to it in, a, in an undue manner where perhaps maybe the kid was molested, hmm. perhaps. Because from what is being or told, abused. or abused, yeah. exactly, from what is being told is that this was an experienced act. Hmm. This was something that perhaps didn't just start at that time, something that has perhaps maybe happened more than once, hmm. according to what people tell mm -hmm. regarding the video and uh, how it went on. Hmm. It's very sad, it's touching, but there have been instances of this happening. I've experienced one myself, personally, from, from when I was growing up. I mean, we all went to secondary schools. We've all seen these things. It's just that back then, you didn't have a phone that could document these things and it would go exactly. viral. And just put it exactly. on, on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. So, so as what I said earlier was, a child that is going to spoil is going to spoil you. No matter how many chaperones, how they parent the child, the truth is, there are some things that you just cannot... I don't agree. You can't, I don't think you can, I don't think you can mm. stop these things. I'm thinking all, all our talking now is probably going to do is maybe get them to not record it. Well, no, no. I'm I, thinking I, these see, things are just always, they've always happened and they're probably this... It did you, did you hear from, the mother? Did you hear the mother? No, no, Now, no. first off, mm. I didn't think that the mother had to come up on 
uh, mm. social media to tell what she told. She actually added fuel to the fire. Okay. Uh, her, her reaction, her comments showed someone who's very lackadaisical at parenting, someone who's very, very... Mm. First of all, it was even difficult to even contact the mother. And then when you are finally contacted, you don't even share this information with your, with your husband. Mm. You say, uh, let's just change the story and say the kid was only just kissing and all of that was what it was told that she said. And then wow. even your mannerisms when you're talking can just show that you're just so lackluster about being a the parent. That's what happened. Eh? Wow. You see, it, it, so I, I could already tell that this is something that generated from home. Mm. And I, I empathize with the school, quite mm. frankly. Mm. I actually do. Because there's only so much a school can do if you bring a bad child to school. Mm. The child's already bad from home. We can only just help you, you know, set certain regulations here and there. But that's a bad child already. Where mm. did it come from? Charity? It's from home. You didn't mm. have it. You ruined your child. So, so when, I say, when I say yes and no, I, I, a number of people have blamed parenting and all of that. How much of the lessons did you learn from your parent growing up that you remember now? I learned morals. Yeah. Morals. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, have you noticed that at the time when you were with them, mm -hmm. you probably didn't understand how important those things were? Because when you yeah. got older, yeah. Very true. why is that? Because when you were younger, the people that influence you the most are your peers. I agree with you, but. And so, for, and so as I tell, I, tell parents, uh, mm -hmm. I tell parents that, look, much more important than whatever you do at home, ensure you are friends with your kids. Thank friends. you, Mike. You have just okay. nailed it. It is, it is most, you see. You will spend, I, I tell you this one, like you, I don't care what you want, you spend 10 years teaching mm -hmm. a child something, mm. they will spend one, one week one with, one bad friend. with their peers. Mm -hmm. And everything, and everything they've learned in that 10 years, out the window. down the drain. Why? Look, they want to be accepted amongst their level. Mm -hmm. Why do you hear about yeah. a jury of, of your peers whenever yeah. you go to yeah. a court? Look, your peers are the most important relationship. That, so adage, that, that adage important. from back in, remember the, back in the days, so, show me your friends, yeah. I tell you who you are, it still applies Re today. Remember, I was very excited about our parenting segment, and that was yeah. what I was going to say. Now, parenting in itself, <laughs> first off, has to change. The way mm. we were brought up was very, very different from the way that we should actually bring up our kids. When you say that you should make sure that you're, 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 you're friends, you're, with, you're your friends with your kid, it is very, very important. Mm -hmm. When you yell at your kid, when you talk down at them and yeah. all of that, you actually push them away from you. Mm -hmm. They can't tell you that, oh, I, I got scratched in school today when yeah. they come back. And you're like, why would you get scratched and all of that? Yeah. That's actually putting distance between you and them. Mm -hmm. But if you, instead of yell at kids, mm -hmm. explain to them why what you're doing is wrong, mm -hmm. you, that's a learning opportunity mm. that they sure. will learn from and they will come back to you <clears throat> but so final me, fi yeah. final thoughts you need to have conversations with your kids you cannot avoid this conversation any longer you need to explain the things that are right the things mm -hmm. that are wrong and you need to be blunt about it parents need to come together have a meeting and have a plan to have this conversation because you can't hide from it anymore our kids are more exposed than we could ever imagine yeah, true that and for me schools get more chaperones get more security if, yeah. they, if it's in their mind let it remain in their mind yeah let's charge my responsibility yeah. that, it's not, that they don't they don't come bring it out you understand block it 